Hey, I'm Lucy with Ross Monster, and today I want to show you around our latest Sprinter 144 4x4. Before we go inside, I'll talk about a few exterior highlights on this build. Starting at the ground, we have a Nomad wheel with a grabber all-terrain tire. We have a luminous tread plate nerf bars down the side, so that's going to help you get up into this vehicle. All the way up top, we have a Fiamma awning. We also have an Illumis double loop roof rack, and that's gonna have a perforated floor, so that's actually a really nice place to hang out up top there. We have an outdoor flip down happy hour table that's gonna be made of the same material as all of our cabinetry, so that can come out and flip down, have a nice place to hang out outside. We also have flare space on both sides, and then we have some LED pod lights around the perimeter of this roof rack. Let's check out the front. In the front of the vehicle, we have an Illuminous front bumper. We have Baja Designs pod lights inlaid into that bumper. And then we also have a Baja Designs 52 inch 300 watt LED light bar all the way up top. Let's check out the rear. On the back side of the vehicle here, you can see that we have an Illuminous ladder to get up to that double loop roof rack. We have an additional cargo storage carrier on the side of that um, ladder as well. We also have a Ross Monster Max Tracks table mounting system. So when that's flipped down, it can be a nice table. You can also store your Max Tracks on here and help you get out of hard to reach spots. And then all the way at the rear here, we have an Illuminous ladder and tire carrier, another cargo um, versatile rack back here, and then a cargo carrier for water jugs. This is gonna be locking, so you can obviously put whatever you want back here. Let's check out the inside. Welcome inside. Before I go into the specific components of this build, I'll talk about the design highlights as well as the overall layout. So we have Phoenix cabinet tree, so all of our uppers are going to be in Blanco, and then all of our lowers and everything on the driver's side here is going to be in Verde. We have walnut butcher block countertops, gray mix upholstered wall panels, and then all the way up top we have a pine tongue and groove ceiling, but that's going to be stained walnut so that it matches our cabinet tree here. When it comes to layout, we have a secondary riding bench seat here that can also convert into a flat sleeping area. We have our galley predominantly here over on the passenger side. As we move back from there, we have a closet. This is gonna be our Murphy bed, so this will flip down. We have a fold out mattress, so this becomes a fixed bed in the rear. We have storage down here for all of our power systems cubbies in the back and then we also have storage for all of our water and plumbing systems over here on the passenger side. So I'm going to start in the front and we'll work our way back. In the front of the vehicle here we have a Wilderness Vans uh, broad arrow bench seat so this is also going to have a Limitless Vans base so that we can swivel it to face forward then you can lay it out flat like a bed and that can be an additional place if you have some additional riders who also need a nice place to sleep. On the passenger side, we have our fold out shower. So you can pop this open, it folds out, and then you can use it right here. We have a, a soft shower curtain, which will hook into all of these hooks so you can ensure that all of the water stays confined in this area. Moving back from there, we have a 15 by 20 Rivati workstation sink with a cutting board insert. Underneath that, we just have some nice storage in this open um, cabinet box there. Moving back, we have a two burner and Pava induction cooktop. And underneath that, we have an isotherm fridge and small freezer up top. Moving over to the driver's side, we have a nice roomy closet. So all of this is gonna be on slam latches so that everything stays shut while in transit. Same thing with our uppers, but then our uppers are also gonna have gas struts for assisted opening and closing. And then underneath the closet, we have storage for our toilet. So this is gonna be on 500 pound locking slides. You can just pop it out, use it, and then when it's not in use, slide it back and keep it out of the way. Moving back from there, we have storage for both our power systems and our plumbing systems. So starting with our power systems here on the driver's side, we have 600 amp hours of lithium iron phosphate battery bank. We have a 3000 watt inverter and we have 600 watts of solar coming in through the top. Moving over to the passenger side, or in all of these cabinet boxes, we have storage for our fresh water tanks. So we have a 30 gallon fresh water tank, and this is also where we're gonna store our aqua hot hydronic heat and hot water system, as well as the unit for our hydronic in-floor heat. The great thing about this storage solution is that though the water tank is in the back there, we still have room to store things in front of it here on the shelf. And we have a tank monitor in there, so you can actually monitor it from your control iPad to make sure that you're never uh, running the pump while that is dry. 
Moving back from there, we just have a few more um, cabinet boxes that can be opened up and utilized for storage back here. Above both of those storage areas, we have a Murphy bed. So you can go ahead and release both slam latches, drop this down, and then we have a custom trifold touch to mattress back here. And then that becomes a really nice sleeping area. The best thing about this is that you utilize all of the space within the van when it's folded away. And even when it's folded out, you do have space underneath this bed to keep things um, in that aisle way, whether it be bikes or other gear that you're taking out on the road. Closing out this back area, just a few nice final features. We do have the flare space, so that's gonna make it a little bit more roomy on both sides. Additionally, a really nice feature of this van is that our aisle is so wide, so you can actually act, step around people while you're in here and have two people cooking at the same time, which is pretty unique in a Sprinter 144. Um, closing out this area, we'll talk about ventilation. So we have a half slide window on either side. In the main living area here, we have Sierra Lawrence T-Vent windows. So those are gonna have the awnings on the bottom. All the way up top, we have a max air fan in the front area. And then we have a Dometic RTX 2000 AC unit in this sleeping area back here. And then as I mentioned for heating, we have the Aqua Hot Hygienic Heat and Hot Water System. So that'll pull hot water to our indoor shower our sink, as well as our outdoor shower. And we'll also keep this vehicle four season capable, nice and warm in those winter months. And then we'll also have hydronic in-floor heat. So the system's really gonna be nice and toasty or nice and cool in those summer months as well. Closing out this vehicle, I'll talk about a few final things in the rear here. From this vantage point, you can see all of our lighting zones. So we have dimmable LED overhead dome lights. We have above cabinet lights, under cabinet lights, and then toe kick lights down the center aisle here. Additionally, in the rear, we have our outdoor shower. So you have indoor and outdoor. And we also have a custom Ross Monster through mount bike shaft. Uh, mount here for the bikes so that they can live underneath that Murphy bed when it's folded down. That wraps up this van tour. Again, I'm Lucy with Ross Monster. This rig is going to be for sale at the end of our show season, so if you like it, be sure to reach out. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a tour, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.